Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. My name is Brad. This is my channel Anime Orange where I build a lot of 3D metal models and show you how I do it. But today there's nothing on the table. Just some kind of leftover extra parts. The table's right over there. Because I've finished building and I've got a bit of a rare opportunity here. No one's home except me. And that doesn't happen often. There's always people here. Because I have several roommates. I have a girlfriend, a couple of roommates. I have my son who will be home very soon. But everybody's away from the house. And I'm going to use this opportunity. I get requests from time to time to show my collection. And it's not that I'm ignoring you people. I, I very much want to keep you and show you my collection from time to time because it's constantly changing. And so is where I keep them. But making that video because my collection is spread around the house is difficult when there's always people here. It can be difficult to get it quiet. It can be difficult to get around, to set things up. Because, you know, I can't just simply grab the camera and go around. It's dark in different places. I have to carry a light with me. There's a certain amount of setup. Anyway, simply put, there's nobody here. So that's what I'm going to do today is try to quickly put together a video while I have the time. Go around and show you the different places that my stuff is at and show you my collection. So let's go. And for starters, you can hear me, but you can't see me because I'm behind the camera. This is my new setup for my videos. I've kind of put the green screen away for now, had some fun with that. But I wanted to do a plain background, especially since the newer Metal Earth models, the new logo is green. It is the exact same green as my green screen. So I'd have to buy a different color and worry about my wardrobe and what's in the background and I thought you know what nah I need to bring my collection together so this is what I have here a first attempt at getting my collection together this is what's behind me and let's kind of zoom out a little to show you the whole thing and it, it gets a little less pretty because I'm in the basement this is my work area but at the very top I'm just gonna grab the camera and to try to be steady move my lights up a little bit as I've quite literally just kind of picked up and, and walked forward move my chair so I got a little chair that I sit in so let's move a little closer we've got the three three shelves that you see here these little short like media center stands that I picked up were scattered around the living room and I think I did a little bit of a video on YouTube about that. Well I've brought them down here to make a background for me to film in front of because I've just kind of gotten rid of the green screen. But anyway, it sits, what you haven't seen, it sits on top of an old entertainment center that I've kind of sturdied up. I've had this thing forever. You can kind of see on the bottom there's some of the glue leaking out from me trying to make it more sturdy. But I've got models down here. You see there's a, what is it, AR? 70, 71, something like that, that I put together, snap tight, a couple of um, Jedi fighters, Obi-Wan and, and uh, Anakin's fighter, got a larger Millennium Falcon, an X-Wing, there's a TIE fighter down there, and some Hot Wheels models that I've gotten over time, but up top is the Metal Earth. We have the recent oil rig, we have a great big dragon that used to be upstairs, we have the Black Knight from Peace Cool. We have the recently completed uh, spinner model from Blade Runner 2049. And then on this shelf up top, we have kind of miscellaneous stuff Ferris wheel, the camera, a little box guy. There's a butterfly back there. Got the heater coming on here in a second. We've got the um, caris uh, carousel and the um, windmill. And below that, I'm going to have to stop for a second. We have the Marvel Collection, Iron Man, and War Machine with Iron Man Head, Mjolnir, and Captain America's Shield, Transformers Collections, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, uh, Megatron, and Soundwave. They've got some ships, the, the Golden Hine, Black Pearl, the Fairy, Titanic, and the Arizona. And we have below that, we have tanks, M1 Abrams, T-34, Sherman, Tiger Tank, and 
Chiha, if memory serves. I think Chiha looks like it might be placed on there backwards. Get in a hurry sometimes. Right, I'll notice these things. That's a little, a little bit better. On the next shelf at the top, we have the Harry Potter stuff, the Golden Snitch, the Train, um, Hagrid's Hut, the Dragon. Below that, we have the golf cart set. We have the Optimus Prime Peterbilt truck form from Picture Kingdom. We have the Kawasaki motorcycle, the uh, Iconics model. Below that, we have the King Kaku G. Um, Mm, I just forgot the name of that one. The Sid, uh, Sydney Opera House, Neuschenstein Castle, and Big Ben in the back. Uh, can't remember the name of that one right now. Practiced it. Can't remember. Below that we have vehicles. The 65 Mustang, the tractor, the fire truck, the Model T, the steam train, or was it diesel train? train and crawler crane and the penny farthing back there look at that the two dinosaurs that i have so far definitely want to get more triceratops and crap what is that tyrannosaurus rex i believe the next shelf at the top is disney stuff we have a couple of castles and the haunted mansion along with the iconics sleeping beauty castle so we've got is that sleep? Yeah, Sleeping Beauty and Iconic Sleeping Beauty. Haunted Mansion and Cinderella. Below that are the Metal Earth Legends that I've built so far. What is it? Cyborg, Wonder Woman, just now built Batman and Superman and Spider Man with more to come. There's the Batman collection the Batmobiles, Batplanes, and the lights. Down there's the bugs. Scorpion, Spider, um, Dragonfly, Praying Mantis, and Beetle. Not necessarily in that order. And below that we have the cat builds that I've done so far. The big mining dump truck, the backhoe, and the motor grader. And that is all of what's behind me when I make these videos. So let's go look at what else is around the house. And here we have quite a bit of collection. This corner shelf here, which I've had for some time, and you can kind of see that it's a little bit self-lit, was used, or it is used, for a lot of Star Trek starships, because I am a huge Star Trek fan, and I subscribe to the Egomoss Star Trek Starship Collection. These are some of the ships. If you look down below, there's tons of boxes because at one point the shelf got kind of full and I was thinking of rearranging, possibly moving. Most of those boxes are full of ships. Some of them, I think this shelf right here has some empty boxes because those ships are the more recent ones I got and out on display. But on top of that is the Star Wars collection of Metal Earth models. And let me see if I can't get a little bit better picture. Those are all my Star Wars Metal Earth model put together in one place. Those are not in the basement, although I'm thinking if I can find a way to more, make more room with the other models, I will, but right now that's where they are. Let's see if we can't get a closer look. Now this is a little bit on the tricky side because of where they are located. But you can kind of see I'm having to hold the camera on a stick and a light to illuminate it enough to hopefully you can see this good on camera. But there's C-3PO and R2-D2 and more droids and BB-8 and the Rex droid. Back there's K-2SO. We've got land speeders and snow speeders and X-wings and walkers, AT and ST. And up there we've got bombers and some what is that thing a sky skier I can't remember and over here we've got the um, slave one and star destroyer and more walkers and droidicas 
and the ride from Disneyland, Millennium Falcons, Y-Wings, TIE Fighters, Imperial Shuttles, oh, I got that in the way, Imperial Shuttles, more TIE Fighters, so that, and then, of course, at the very tip top is R2-D2 Mega, R2-D2. So that's all the Star Wars stuff right there, put together in one place above the Star Trek ships. And here, another corner of the living room, you have my Star Trek chess set that I've had for many years, and there's currently nothing on it right now. All of the pieces are inside. So here we have one of the pawns from the collection. Anyway, get back in there and slide this closed. What I have beside it are the Klingon ships, the Bird of Prey, and uh, guys, I can't remember what that is now. Not the Katinga, is it? Another Klingon ship from Metal Earth Collection. And then over here on this side, we have the Enterprise D and the original. Enterprise and a little game that looks like Galileo the shuttle back there But those are the Star Trek ones and those are by the chess set which again those may move at some point If I can get to where I can gather all my collections together and in the background are people Some that I know and some that I don't know so much, but anyway Those are where the Star Trek ones are in them a little bit sad that they haven't come out with more, but then with the saucer sections and the and the, the Federation ships, they don't shape all that great. The Klingon ships, they turned out great. Those, eh, didn't really like the way those turned out personally. So here's where I keep or hide some more of my models. I have a hutch here that one side of it I've stashed. Well, I've got a lot of buildings up here. And you can see a couple of bridges. You can see a lot of taller buildings, a lot of skyscrapers, because... Well, those tend to get knocked off the shelves if I put them anywhere else. But in here, at least if they fall over with the door closed, they don't go anywhere. They don't fall and get a lot of damage. But I don't really have enough room in one place yet, so I'm, I'm still working on trying to get things together. Let's all gather around a tridimensional chess set from Star Trek. As, as I said before, I'm a Star Trek fan. Very back there is an extra Millennium Falcon because I built that several times. And then down on the next shelf, we have a lot of space related stuff. We've got satellites, we've got rovers, we've got the Apollo lander, we've got musical stuff, we've got guitars, drums, piano, and below that is pretty much my playing collection so far. And now I'm not even going to try and go through and name all those because right now I can't remember. There's some helicopters, there's some older planes, newer planes, fighter planes, World War II planes, bomber planes, just all kinds of stuff in there. So that's another, so it's more of my collection, more of it stashed away around the house. Let's move on to the next place. All right, so I've already seen this over here, it's kind of dark now. This is my background where I film my openings and endings at, I've talked about that a little bit. And some behind the scenes stuff here, got some lights set up because beside that area is my video game collection. For those of you who like video games, especially older video games, so do I. And there's a point to this, but I thought, since I'm going to come over here and show you where some of my models are, I'll just show you the whole collection. Uh, most of this stuff, well, all of this stuff has been hooked up. There's been some rearranging and not all of it is hooked back up. Mostly this TV is where I'm putting a lot of the older systems we have we have the older Nintendo I have a top loader I have several of the original toaster Nintendos the the, the box ones ones look like VCRs in the back in the day front loaders that's it that's what I'm looking for I have several of the older front loader ones boxed away or in other floors but down here I have this top loader because it's more reliable we have Atari 2600, down there is an Atari 400, see over here is another 2600, a 2600 Junior, 1964, Super Nintendo, 
like there's a Sega Genesis and all that's going to be hooked up to this TV I think right now the only thing hooked up is a Nintendo but the power supply hasn't been hooked up because I'm still working that out and over here we've got see PS2 we've got a Saturn we've got an Xbox 360 original Xbox Nintendo Wii and Wii U GameCube original PlayStation and Dreamcast all bundled up over here for fun and games hooked to this TV and over here's my collection of video games you've probably seen some of this stuff in the background of other videos but at the very top right now sits the Normandy and a few other things from so these are the Mass Effects ones sitting on a little block that I made with magnets in it I think I have a video about that somewhere I built that it's an idea from little Katie her video a video on her channel take a wood block drill some holes in it put some magnets and cover it up with a black cover and you've got a base for your models and I've made a couple of those I want to make more but so many things I want to do and I just never get around to but over here in this corner we have video game stuff wires cables supplies a little disorganized but at the top got my halo collection it made sense because these are video game related to have them down here in this area so there's all the halo models that there are including the big guardian and over here is just some random stuff because i kind of started running out of room and i wasn't sure where to put them got the the White House and the U.S. Capitol and the JFK Center and then there's an X-Wing and a AT-AT which are knockoff builds that I did. I don't really keep those with the Star Wars ones because they're knockoffs and heck this one broke like right after I finished the video one of the guns fell off. Because <laughs> it's, it's not as good a metal and they do that. They break easier. So yeah. I'm... And that's more of my collection. And if you look over here this is like the craft bookcase craft shelves lots of yarn plastic canvas stuff down there there's just random craft stuff here a couple of models but if you notice mixed in here are empty boxes of the metal earth models iconic stuff gift box stuff down here there's lots and lots of envelopes there's three containers full so the stuff just crammed in there these loot crate box here one of them has spare parts in it there's a Ziploc bag with some spare parts. There's the Optimus Prime Picture Kingdom model. I just kind of cram the stuff in here, the packages in here when I'm done with them. And every now and then I'll go through and organize them. But mostly I just cram them in there and go on to the next model. So there we go. That's most everything. There's a few duplicates here and there around the house. Like in my room I have another uh, Millennium Falcon because I made several of those. My roommate has an extra... Uh, Eiffel Tower and what was it I made an extra one I think she maybe have another Washington Monument or something I don't know there's a couple of duplicates I made that ended up elsewhere and then there's you may have not noticed there was no lighthouse I did a video on that way back when and gave that to my mom so I don't have that of course an alarm going on I've got a lighthouse video that from way back early in the channel and that's not anywhere because I gave that to my mom. I also made a guitar and gave that away. But I've redone the guitar. I haven't redone the... Or I haven't made another lighthouse. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything. And that's my whole collection. And there's more to come. I've got more Legends models sitting over there waiting for me to build. I've got some more Iconics. I've got the London Tower. Not London Tower. I've got the London Eye. I've got... Uh, I've got a red dragon that I've had forever that I'm in to put together. I've got another Peace Corps model that I started on but broke. So I've got to get another copy of that and put that together. There's Leaning Tower of Pisa. I want to say I have an Iconix ship. Queen Anne's Revenge. I have Queen Anne's Revenge and I have Notre Dame Iconix that I've had for quite a while. And just life for me just sometimes goes... <sighs> if you haven't noticed and there's always something as always thank you for watching if you enjoy my build videos please consider becoming a patreon supporter and help support these videos support new builds 
new videos, more interesting builds, check out the Patreon link in the description down below. There's also a link if you just want to leave a tip on this video or any video, there's a link to Ko-Fi where you can do that instead of a monthly thing. You just leave whatever you feel is appropriate. Uh, do what you like. I'm going to make these videos anyway as long as I can afford them, but the support would help me bring more interesting and more frequent models in the future. As always, I thank you for any support that you give, even the support of just simply watching this video and putting up with an ad or two at the bottom. As always, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on. This thing, this monstrosity here, is always interrupting me in the wintertime. You hear that hiss? You might have heard it grumble a minute ago. In a second, I think it's going to get even louder. This thing is constantly on and off, and I have to record when it's not making noise with the exception of when I'm building because I just get rid of the volume and just put music over that anyway and do voiceovers but yeah this slows me down so much but there's really not a better place in the house to do this recording and here we go rumble 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 and this thing this thing hisses too when somebody takes a shower anyway yeah, rumble rumble